is the world staring at a meatless future a future where meat will be made in labs and from plants well this possibility is becoming a reality with each passing day more and more people are abandoning animal meat and embracing plant-based meat substitutes in europe and north america outlets selling burgers tortillas pies and other favorite snacks that are made from the plant is on the rise a brand Kimani reports. Sometimes looks can be deceiving, and this is at play here. From a distance, this looks like your ordinary snack joint. But the snack is different. It's a plant-based hot dog. Yes, I'm right. However, there are no animal products here. It's a combination of soya beans, wheat, peanuts, tomatoes, celery and other plant ingredients. Even the mayonnaise and tomato sauce is 100% plant-based according to the makers of the hot dog safe movement. This is made from plants so we have uh, soy based hot dogs now with us and uh, you have different kinds and different brands who make it from different ingredients but the ones that we have are made from soy and this is not the soy that is grown in the rainforest but we have a sustainably grown European based soy. The organization is advocating for a radical shift in human being diet. This is part of a growing movement of greeners who are advocating for a world without animal products. At the United Nations headquarters in the city of Bonn, Germany, the organization has been busy the whole week dishing out hot dogs made from meat alternatives like wheat, soya and even rice. The movement says the numbers have been soaring. Each day, Lisa and her team have been distributing over 100 hot dogs to people visiting the UN headquarters. On one hand, their desire is fired by ending animal cruelty, while on the other, it is a growing chorus to reduce green gas emissions. We are asking politicians to facilitate a shift away from animal agriculture and to support sustainable plant-based farming to save our climate, the animals and uh, human health. Scientists say that 15% of global green gas emissions come from raising meat. The World Health Organization says producing 100 grams of protein from beef produces 25 kilograms of green gas emissions. On the other hand, meat substitutes like plant-based meat have green gas emissions 40 to 90 percent less than animal meat. Plant-based meat is supposed to look, cook, taste and cost like animal meat. However, the drive to increase production and consumption of second generation meat is being hampered by cost. And it's like you have different prices for animal based and you have different prices for plant based, but the costs are similar. So we have in our minds uh, most of the time that it's much more expensive to have plant based food and it can be more expensive, but it's definitely not always the case. Like I'm from the Netherlands and there's loads of plant based foods that are a lot cheaper than the animal based foods. Of course, you can have the cheapest foods, the staples would be like lentils and beans and rice and things like that. And these days of belt tightening initiatives. Many people would think twice before making the big switch. But Lisa from the Safe Movement says price difference may not be a major challenge like changing people's mindset and cultural beliefs. Lisa believes the future will see more people abandoning animal-based products and making the switch to plant-based alternatives. But for now, her organization will continue to appeal to omnivorous to develop a taste bud for plant-based meat. This is the first time I'm coming across this concept of plant-based hot dogs i haven't tasted yet but from the look of things it looks absolutely amazing i'm about to taste it and i'll tell you whether this is indeed the way to go the future is here plant with hot dog with the whole concept of saving the world and also saving your health o'brien kimani from the city of Bonn in Germany.